Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Sunday evening, the 15th week of Ordinary Time. Our morning, or evening prayer rather, begins today on page 337 in our prayer books. Let's join together in prayer. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like an evening sacrifice. Alleluia. I have called on you, Lord. Come to me quickly. Listen to my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard on my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch at the door of my lips. Don't incline my heart to any evil thing, to deeds of wickedness with those who are sinners. Don't let me share in their feasting. Let the godly strike me. It will be a kindness. If they correct me, it is like oil on the head. Let me not refuse it. Let my prayer be against the deeds of the wicked. When evil rulers are thrown off the sides of a cliff, the people will hear my words, for they are well spoken. Like rocks brought up by the plow, so the bones of the wicked will lie scattered at the mouth of the grave. My eyes look to you, Yahweh, my Lord. In you I take refuge. Don't abandon my soul. Keep me safe from the traps set by evildoers, from snares they have laid for me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you like incense, my uplifted hands like the evening sacrifice. Alleluia. The day is now past and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Yahweh, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice and make us a light for all the world, delivered by your power from all the works of darkness. Amen. Our hymn for this evening's prayer is hymn number 21, found on page 735. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are worthy at all times to be praised by joyful voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified throughout all creation. Yahweh alone is my refuge. He is my help, and I trust in him. Alleluia. O oh God, listen to my complaint. Protect my life from my enemy's threats. Hide me from the plots of this evil mob, from the gang of wrongdoers. They sharpen their tongues like swords and aim their bitter words like arrows. They shoot from ambush at the innocent, attacking suddenly and fearlessly. They encourage each other to do evil and plan to set their traps in secret. Who will ever notice, they ask. As they plot their crimes, they say we have devised the perfect plan. Yes, the human heart and mind are cunning, but God himself will shoot them with his arrows, suddenly striking them down. Their own tongues will ruin them, and all who see them will shake their heads in scorn. Then everyone will be afraid. They will proclaim the mighty acts of God, and realize all the amazing things he does. 
The godly will rejoice in the Lord and find shelter in him, and those who do what is right will praise him. Yahweh alone is my refuge. He is my God, and I trust in him. Alleluia. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust in him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers and will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you don't even, won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will stumble or trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. God alone is my refuge. He is my God, and I trust in him. Alleluia. Christ Jesus was revealed in the flesh and vindicated in the spirit. He was seen by angels and proclaimed among the nations. Believed in throughout the world, he was taken up in glory. This will be made manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only sovereign, who alone has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light. Yahweh alone is my refuge. He is my God, and I trust in him. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Yahweh alone is my refuge. He is my God, and I trust in him. Alleluia. Our reading for this evening's prayer is from Peter's first letter. The first chapter. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by his great mercy that we have been born again. Because God raised Jesus Christ from the dead, now we live with great expectation, and we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach of change and decay. And through your faith, God is protecting you by his power until you receive his salvation, which is ready to be revealed on the last day for all to see. So be truly glad. There is wonderful joy ahead, even though you must endure many trials for a little while. These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, they will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. Sing and rejoice, O people of God, for the Lord comes to dwell in our midst. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. 
He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. He has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his offspring forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Sing and rejoice, O people of God, for the Lord comes to dwell in our midst. Alleluia. God of compassion, we draw near to you, for you are good and loving towards all and to all your children. As we rejoice this evening in your presence, we give you our thanks. For people who reveal your righteousness and truth, we give you thanks, Lord God. For the courage to give us to be bold disciples, we give you thanks, Lord God. For those who show hospitality, we give you thanks, Lord God. And for the surprises with which you have seen fit to bless us, we give you thanks, Lord God. With confidence, we profess that we are close to all in need and that through our prayers for others, we come closer to you. We are aware of many needs, and so tonight we lift these intercessions before you. Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For our friends and relatives who are far away, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For our neighbors with special needs, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who are hungry, thirsty, and who lack shelter for the coming night, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. For those who work at night while others sleep, Hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. And for our brothers and sisters in the Lutheran and Anglican churches, hear us, Lord, for your mercy is great. In the power of the Spirit, we also lift before you the needs and intentions that are close to our hearts. O oh Lord, God our Father, I pray, O oh Lord, Lord, this day for our community here at St. Martin's, Father, make us be strong in our faith. Help us to live what we hear and what we learn from you and put it into practice in our lives. We pray, O oh Lord, for those that hear your word but do nothing to live by it, who don't allow you to change, who don't even want to change in their life, that simply want to hear. Lord, work with them. Deal with them. Help, Lord, those that are sick today. So many are sick again, O oh Lord. So many are struggling with physical issues. Lord, I met someone today who broke her arm and has a huge scar along the back of her arm. Help her to heal and bring her back to normal life. Thank you for my elbow and how it is healing, O oh Lord, after the surgery. Thank you for Bishop Todd, whose knees are healed. We ask you to watch over Paul Andrus, O oh Lord, a friend of mine, who's going to undergo knee replacement this Tuesday. Be with him, O oh Lord, and bring him healing. Father, we pray for those who lost loved ones this week, O oh God. Father, I did three funerals for these families, and I ask that you watch over each family, O oh Lord. Grant them your peace. Grant them your rest. Grant them the assurance that their loved one is with you forever. O oh Lord God, help us not just hear your word, but live it out in our lives. Help us to put skin in the game of Christianity and do our part, O oh Lord, in our journey towards heaven. 
With confidence, we lift all these needs before the Father, uniting them with the perfect prayer our Savior has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you gladden our hearts as we joyfully contemplate the resurrection of your Son, as our weekly celebration of his redemptive work draws to its close. Regard not the vacillations of our lives, but inspire in us constancy of faith. Guard our, guard our ways in the days to come, so that at the last great day we may enter into the eternal sanctuary, where we long to be with you forever and ever. Amen. O only begotten Son and deathless Word of God, for our salvation you are incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary, becoming one with us without the loss of your divinity. You were crucified, O Christ our God, trampling down death by death. You are the whole, one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Spirit. Save us who cry out to you. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. O may the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones both near and far away. May God grant to us a quiet night and a peaceful death, and may souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you for joining me this evening in prayer. As you continue this day celebrating the resurrection of Christ, may our Lord touch your heart and draw you ever closer to him. Let us pray for all of our brothers and sisters driving home from Milwaukee after this Harley Fest this weekend. For those that are cleaning up and going home from the uh, Bastille days in downtown Milwaukee and the other festivals going on locally, O oh Lord. Be with everyone. Keep them safe in their travels. And my, my friends, be a blessing to those around you. Take the gifts of God and use them to serve others. In Jesus' name.